to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Ebro in the morning, Laura Stiles, Rosenberg. <laughs> Roy Woods, hey, representing yeah. OBO. He is back. We will get to where he's been and all that. But first, you're looking for a chopped cheese. Yeah, man. The best in the city, man. I'm trying to get Where's that. Where's the Who best got shop? I, I, I need cheese. to go find that. You know what I'm saying? Because I be going on my own little adventures. Any, like, corner store and just, like, you know, try it out. So I don't have a favorite yet because, like, a lot no, of them... No, you got to go uptown. You, know you, you got to go to Harlem. That's where I got to go. Yeah, you got to go to Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Spanish Harlem. Yes, yeah. in Hodge. Mm. The origin is 105th and 1st. Wait, so, yeah. 105th and 1st, eh? 105th and 1st. If you basically... But, Laura, you got a spot. You used to live in Spa, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Spa, Yeah, you got to go to Haji's. 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 That's 105th and 1st. Yes, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So I got a name. 105th and 1st, go to Haji's. Yeah. Get you some Small little store. Yeah. Best chopped cheese. That's all I need. That's Sean. Johnny said, what's the food, what's the thing where you're from? I know oh, you're yeah. from Brampton. I've been to Brampton. I don't know that there's a big... Nah. Um, Applebee's? Yeah, nah. it might I be mean, Applebee's. We used to have an Applebee's. That's gone now. <laughs> they actually gone. put an IHOP there. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The traditional food of Brampton. IHOP now. <laughs> Wait, so you're oh. from Brampton? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ontario. But, yeah, but your people are from... Uh, Guyana. Guyana. Yeah, I'm a, GT I'm a GT Come on. So what's the what's the food, the Guyanese food? So it it varies. Like, um, you know, we have certain dishes that are like like Jamaicans have as well. And then we have dishes. A lot of that curry. Are like, Some that's oil the down. Indian. That's, yeah, that's where the, the Indian, Indian comes in. That's what yeah, I was about yeah, to say, right? Yeah. That's where all the Indian comes in. But like, you know, we do a jerk and we do, you know, the oxtail and all that, but Guyanese people or even Trinidadian people we really known for like, you know, the curries and the yeah. roti and yeah. the the dal puri and you Man. know what I'm saying? Like this oil down. Ah, you you get me. Mm. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all a, it's ah. all a bunch of Indian <laughs> more more Indian inspired yeah, uh, for sure. you know, dishes. But yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Sounds yeah. amazing. Uh, they eat chicken curry. We eat curry chicken. That's the big you know what I mean. I, I say curry chicken. I don't do the chicken oh, curry. What? I, He's I a rebel. We we Canadian Guyanese. <laughs> He's a rebel. We don't yeah, yeah, super because it, you can't chicken curry. You gotta right. curry the chicken, it's man. It's a big. You, sausage, you, you know don't chicken it? the curry. You curry, curry the, the chicken. chicken. Come on, yeah. That's a fact. What you just said. I don't know why Guyanese people did that. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. probably they had the chicken first, and then they added the curry, so they went chicken curry, right. like, <sighs> chicken plus curry. Yeah, I mean, plus curry. It's plus a big chicken. controversy. They, they did it in reverse. <laughs> um. So where have you been, sir? Oh man. Uh, because it's been... the first release in how long? It's like five years, six years. You made that much money. It's over your money. Long, <laughs> big. Yeah. Roy Woods I'm didn't even have to man. come back to work. I got. I got. I was getting my money. You know, one way or another. Yeah. But um, now I went through a. I went through a hard time, just with my myself and my career because I started so young, right? So yeah, he was like 15, 15, 16. Like like. Well, I started off sixteen. I was like nineteen when I got signed, right? Right. Okay. So, um, yeah, you know, I just had like a lot of things that I carried from like my high school, like dreams, goals with my boys, everything was just getting crushed over and over. So I tried to keep rebuilding this team, rebuilding these dreams, and it kept getting crushed, right? Mm. So I had to really like, it came to a point where I just, I was about to quit, bro. Like, yeah. I, like just, I didn't care about anything, you know what I'm saying? Like I even told, you know, um, like even Mr. Morgan knew. Yeah. So it was like that serious where I was like, I'm done, yeah. you know? So I had to really, like my manager now, Banks, um, he's the reason that I'm bad. Cause he he had one conversation with me. He's like, "Yo, this is he, you got to go back in the studio, bro. You got to go back to work." Like, now, you did you keep writing and 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 were you still was, creating in your head the whole time you was gone, man, or was, you just had a distaste for the whole business of it all? Like the business turned you off. Like which aspects? Was, yeah, it was it was it was everything. It was the business. It was the personal life. It was just all clashing. It was getting too much for me, and it was out of control. Mm. Right. So I had to regain control, and he helped me regain control. Yo, but it's I think in in some ways. It's dope that you knew you needed to, yeah, like purge and figure it out and reset yourself. I think that's dope because a lot of people are chasing fame, chasing money so bad they're not yeah. putting their mental health and, and their own self and creating nice. boundaries for themselves. So then they wake up one day after this whole chase, yeah, yeah. and they're they're emotionally drained. Exactly. May or may not have some money left over. Right. Yeah. Family and personals falling apart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and don't yeah. have nothing. And then it's really bad. So it's, I, I think it's a, a blessing that you did that. Thank you. Was Thank it? You. Was it? Um, was it? Who helped you understand that you needed to step away? Though was that all you? Uh what was all me was regaining the control. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Stepping away was I shouldn't even have done that. Right. I needed to re. Um, I had to get my team right. Right, so I had to honestly, I had to fire some people. I tried to reposition, but I had to end up firing them. And I had to 
make it what I make hire people where I know okay listen you're gonna get what I need done yeah because I know I'm gonna do my job but I need this done a certain way and I know that that's why Banks is here yeah right he helped motivate me get back and he's never you know what I'm saying been in this position before but he's been amazing since mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying we get into the bag we get into the real real you know what I'm saying and like it's Go been for yeah thank you that's man dope, it's been man. real so that's honestly and it happened right before like right at COVID so once that happened I'm I'm trying to get back to my stuff I'm going to LA now COVID. Boom. And so I'm you there. had to sit down anyway. I, exactly. exactly. And that extends what could have been a two-year to a five-year. Exactly. Just like That's that. That's why. That's why I've been gone so long. Yeah. So is there a... Now, we got the... I saw a new single and a new video. Yes. When's the new album? That is on the way. Right? Is that this year? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. I'm not even trying to let summertime pass, and that's not out, you dig? So... Yeah, that's going to be... I'm going to drop the release, uh, release date soon. I'm going to drop uh, uh, the art, the cover art and everything. But right now, I'm just getting them singles out and, you know, letting everybody know Roy's back and I ain't going nowhere. There it is. Roy yeah. Woods, ladies and And, and how, how much... How regularly were you talking with Drake? And how much... How invo and how involved and excited was he to uh, on the return? Yeah, no, he was, uh, he was heavily involved. He took me out to the Bahamas and that's where we started working on the album. This was, um, this was actually during COVID, like 2020. And uh, uh, I went on the big plane and everything, first time. Um, oh, because you've been gone since he got the, the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I an was, Air Drake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> big plane. Yeah, man. Big plane. <laughs> <laughs> Not a jet. <laughs> yeah, Not a jet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. So, no, no, it was a great experience. Started work. I, went, I made like 20 songs, like 10 days there. Wow. Masked up my leg. What uh, do you mean? How'd you mash up your leg? Bro, I fell down the stairs. We watching the AFC Championship game. I fell down the stairs because we all drink tequila a little bit. There was a little stairs. I'm watching something. I should have been keeping my eyes straight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then I fall, scrape it. Um, next day, I didn't get no rubbing alcohol. We just went to the beach, right? I should have got some rubbing alcohol, but I was like, it's the beach. I could probably be. And even my manager's like, yeah, you could probably just, you know what I'm saying? Salt so water, water, clean right? it. Oh, but that's, my God. Because it did happen to his boy before, right? He had like a gas on his head. Put off it the in the ocean, you're good. Exactly, right? That's what they told you. That's what, that's so, what they said. They but said jump in the ocean. That's what you would do, right? But, so what happened? Oh, my God. I got an inf I got a blood infection from it. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. I was, in, I was like, yeah, bro. I was like in the wheelchair the whole time. My man is just pushing me around. I'm still going to the studio. Like, It was, it was crazy. It you, was went, crazy. You, went from Air Drake, you went from Air Drake to Drake <laughs> Medical Center. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy, dog, for real. A blood infection. Like Jimmy in that chair. Yeah, yeah, all of a sudden, you better watch <laughs> out. You don't want to turn around and be the next Jimmy. No, no, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was good, though. It was a good experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was joking around. Boys joking around. Everybody was joking around about it, but I still But got I almost done. died. Yeah. <laughs> in the Bahamas, first time. How, did, you, where, did you spend time in the hospital? Uh, Just, like, a little bit. Like, I had IV. Okay, for a few while hours. I was there. Yeah, yeah, for a few hours okay. while I was there. While I came home, I didn't need to do any of that. I just, like, you know, healed up. They gave me some, like, pills, some Tylenol, and I was good. When when you go to the hospital and you're a guest of Drake, is it like when Biggie goes to the hospital and real <laughs> do real things when he's like, the doctors say, I need about three weeks for recovery, but the nurse is loving me? Uh, no. They didn't send, get that <laughs> no, big butt no. nurse with the long hair Brother, to come. You went straight, yes. like... Fantasy porn really where you go to the hospital and there's bro? like a hot nurse. Where's the Drake? It was, I feel like Drake nah. can make a phone you call. You think yo. that Drake took him personally? I think Drake could be like, yo, yo, send my man the big butt nurse right. with the long hair. I didn't want nobody to know. Like. Night nurse. <laughs> Hello, night nurse. <laughs> night no. nurse. Big two, big two, big two, big two, big two, big two. Big two. <laughs> No, no, no. I just I go with it on my own. Down. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, I'm so embarrassed, right? Yo, that sucks. Everyone's partying at Drake's oh, house, right? doing God knows what. You're sitting online in the emergency room. That's trash, bro. <laughs> but now, I but in the hand, bro. Yeah, so you didn't on. even get to look around at the polyester pants and they little. You know what I'm saying? You didn't nah. look around while you was in there. Yeah, yeah, he I was mean, fighting for his life. I mean, look. If I try, if I'm fighting fight for my life, life, I'm gonna look around. If this is how I'm nah. going out, look oh around. Look around. <laughs> Remember on 1999? Well, when she says. So if blah, 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 then I'm letting listen to my body tonight. It's in the final moments. You have to decide what you're going to do. Yeah. If you're stuck in that hospital. If you got 24 hours to live, what would you what do? What would you do? Hey, who, who would, would you, you screw? screw? They go right to mm. it. Who would you screw? Right. We're glad you're better. Yeah, we are. God. Roy Woods, Thank still you. back and still with us. <laughs> yes. great. That should be the name wow. of your new yeah. album. Back, back, back and, still, and still with and us. Still with us. You know, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep that one and tuck it in the notes. You know, Did you are, are you are you a Toronto full time guy? You yeah, right now for now. You know what I'm saying? Because of COVID, that's the only reason I went back. I was actually trying to move to LA, right? So once that happened, I got free healthcare back home. So I'm gonna go there. Right, right, right. You know, Post so up went, at home. You know what I'm saying? And just to make sure our family's good, my mom's and everything, right? So yeah, I just went home. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to move out. I don't know where exactly, but I'm gonna move from Toronto. So, yeah. It's a little cold, at least during the winter. I mean, I need some. At least I like, go back and forth or something just to get away from the winter. Right. You're right? Uh, born and raised out there. How much is yeah. the city different? 
Oh, I mean, sense. obviously, you know, because you, I saw like the Toronto Raptors documentary when they first right. came to town and just kind of like that whole scene. Right. But then you just look at what Lil, you know, what Lil X, director X had done with yeah, the videos yeah, yeah. and the whole X. thing and the whole just highlighting the Caribbean culture coming out of Toronto yeah. and then obviously the explosion of Drake and the weekend and the, and the local music scene. Right. So you, you've grew up. Yeah, yeah, Watch yeah. Watching all of this. Yeah, the song Paul, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. all of it. Yeah, 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 all that. All of it. How, what, what's the, how much is the city it's, just it's completely so different. different and bigger in some ways? People yeah. move there probably in tourism. Oh, goes. man. Like, people want to come there now and just build their careers and start it off from there. You know what I mean? Like, it's so different now where it was like, before nobody's going there for music. You know what I'm saying? They'll probably come to the city for school or like, you know what I'm right. saying? Something else. Like, the arts, like where it comes down to like film. Yeah. Toronto's big on film over there. All right. But, right. But other than that, Nobody's really coming in for music, but now it's really like that. You know, there's a, it's like a hub. It's like an LA or New York or, you know what I'm saying, an Atlanta at that point where it's, everybody's going there. Like, and they're like, yo, uh, where's Drake? Um, where? <laughs> everybody's always Introduce me. <laughs> Introduce me. Everybody's I got a tape. Uh, he needs to hear what I'm doing. Everybody's always on, <laughs> on like, you know, uh, Drake and, you know, the parties. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But that ass, it'd be, it be really, um, it'd be really like so different. Like there's so many engineers, producers, like compared to when I first started, like when I was like 15, 16, I couldn't go down the street and find an engineer or a producer. Now I can find 20 guys, 15 years old. And they're all ready cooking, to work. They're all fire. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Like, they're not mediocre, bro. They're fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's where Toronto's at right now. And it's just growing. That's dope, man. Yeah, man. Well, look, congratulations. I'm sure we're going to see you again when the album drops. Yeah. Take us into the single. Uh, give it up one time. Roy Woods. Roy OVO's Woods. on back and still with us. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. Great to see you, bro. Uh, thank you guys for having yeah, me. Man. Appreciate it.